I really live very quietly during the week. I work, I get up early and I try to do sports and yoga or meditation or walks in the park. And in the weekend, I'm working or partying. I think a lot of people do that. I have never in my life built a club and of course I didn't know. And luckily we, we have a lot of great people here that did know. This is the main floor of Trau and I think the most well-known room that we have. It's the dance floor and this is the place where yeah, people listen to the music and meet their friends and get lost in the night. I think the character of the space is very, very special. It's an old building, it's the place where for 20 or 30 years all the Dutch national newspapers were printed. So it's very industrial, it's rough, it's edgy, and now it's actually a place where not the machines are, but people are coming together and drinking or eating together, looking at art or, or dancing at night. We originally had this space and finally two years ago we finally had the funds and to, to, to get the permit and to make it into an exhibition space. This is an installation by a very famous Dutch graffiti artist called Delta and uh, he called me to say, hey I really think this fits uh, your club. I think it's been here now for, for two years and it's, it has this really great layering and rhythm and structure in it. But it's kind of falling apart. <laughs> Things that inspire me are nature, some museums that I visit. I was recently in Japan and um, I saw a lot of amazing art there and uh, different nature than I've ever experienced before. And even though it's not always directly linked to what I do, it really inspires me and just creates good energy. I definitely feel that instinct and intuition is the basis of the way I work. Um, I basically try to do what we really love and what we really love is trying to do something that's more light, more healthy and involves a lot of vegetables, something that you can share with, with people at the table and it's very informal and, 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 and personal. We just arrived at the Vuurtoren Island, which um, is a, yeah, an old lighthouse island and used to be a, a nature reserve and part of the, the front line of Amsterdam. My older brother and my former employer started this place. They won a contest to be able to do this here and uh, yeah, I really, not only because it's my brother, but I really fell in love with, with this place. It's an amazing space to, to just come here and, and have dinner and you have the feeling that you're actually sitting in the middle of nature or sitting under the stars. Uh, they wrote this, this idea for, for a restaurant that really specializes in you know, very much um, local produce. Um, they're working together with a lot of people that really make their own products by hand and with, with craftsmanship and who really put a lot, lot of love and effort in what they do. So now they can run this island for the next 20 or 30 years, hopefully. Amsterdam is a very comfortable and easy city. I mean, it's small, you can cycle everywhere in 15 minutes. You bump into friends and people you know all the time. But it's also international, it also has this feel of actually being a city. 